All right, folks. Welcome back to Edgewater. What have we got going on in here? You read the latest report? Only the part that said we ain't making our quotas. Oh. If only McDevitt's folk hadn't abandoned us, Cannery could use those extra hands. Yeah, what I'd we bet. we can do about that? Sure there is. We can have another zero G. Yeah, that's, uh, that's my attitude. Folks don't have names. You do. Hey, Winslow. Never seen you here before. You a visitor? Something welcome. like that. On behalf of the Spacer's Choice family, let me welcome you to... To, uh... <laughs> where am I again? Uh, you're drunk. What? No, I'm Winslow. Lester but, um, Winslow. Says so right on my permanent record. Shouldn't you be working? I am in no condition to do any work. Oh. Not so long as my injuries trouble me. I mean, really me too. You were injured? Yep. Got my mitt stuck in a rotor wheel. Shredded my wrist up real good. Ugh. Conrad went and sewed up my hand, but I couldn't do much about the pain. Boss was real generous to me, though. Got myself a 5% discount on Zero G Brew. Oh my god. After the second bottle, the only pain I feel is emotional. Okay. You sound like you need a surgeon, though. Hey, Conrad's a surgeon. Well, he's a barber. That's like surgery, but for your hair. I already talked about how uh, barbers and surgeons used to overlap, right? Sure. I'll leave you be. Uh, how about you? Nope. Move along. Don't wanna. Just gotta keep our heads up. Sure do. Sorry. I got a lot to do. Hey. Hey. Sorry. I got a lot to do. Okay. I don't have time for this. Fine. I don't get a lot of visitors. Me either. Somebody's been rambling about some colony ship. Wonder what that's about. Mm, I don't. Sorry, I got a lot to do. Let me actually... No, 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 not that. Put it away. Thank you. I'm going to change my volume settings just a little bit. Is that good? Just got to keep our heads up. We don't get a lot of visitors. This is unusual. Usually, uh... I haven't changed really any settings, but everybody is so much quieter. I'm going to regret this later when I start fighting. We'll find out. Sorry, I got a lot to do. That's better. Ish. How polite. I close the door behind myself when I go to avail myself of your all your goods and or services. That's a lot of picks, though sure there's a good reason for it i'll think about it in a minute right now our skill is so low that picks are a very what that's the, not even what those waveforms are supposed to look like i fine i can't play the piano Hoping to role play because I. <laughs> Algae logger. A small wooden music box. This music box plays the happy sisty pig when its lid is open. Consider yourself. Earwormed. Okay. Bunch of nanners. I've got a lot of nanners. Look. A pretty necklace if you're into that sort of thing. This necklace makes a strong fashion statement. Look at my neck. There is something on it. A pretty something. Look at it. Okay. Uh, I think I'm good without taking that. Facer's jaw. Mm, not my thing. Anthrocillin. That really looks like it should be something.
Come on, put, put. Don't put a divider up and then not protect your dry towels against the shower head. People. People. That's what I thought. Spacer's Corona. Because it's not my co Hello. I would like that. So is that a thing? And if so, do I want to try to get on top of that pipe and start walking across? Oh, I don't have to, do I? No! I mean, I tried. I'm gonna try again? Yeah. Sorry, folks, this is what gaming with me is like. Sure, I'm sure there is a story. We'll get back to it someday. No! Okay, fine. Put that away. All right. What's your deal? I don't know you. I don't either, really. Nice to meet you, too. Everyone's so friendly and welcoming in this town. We don't welcome trouble. Oh. I don't know what you're about. But this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hardworking company folk here. So... So, um, something I kind of decided off camera was we kind of... In the previous, the first two Fallout games, and to a lesser extent, uh, one or two of the ones that followed, Dumb was an entire overhaul of the conversation engine. You just had grunts and one or two word answers and physical gestures. Because it was entirely text-based, they could do that. Now, when you have to deal with voice lines and paying people to do a whole lot more reactions just for that? Mm, more lines? That many more lines? It, it's a lot of extra cost, expense, all work for a small subset of players because not a whole lot of people care about this. The ones that do really care about it, but we're a, we're a pretty small group. So, and as a result, is it means that the engine... Dumb is kind of another flavor of responses, and we're also going to get many of the others because we are a character where, especially in the early game, we match things like engineering and medical when people ask us, which uh, is hilarious when we, then we say the dumbest thing you can imagine two lines later. So we're going to be one of those people that everybody knows one, where they're very gifted in some things and incredibly dense in others. We're just, it's going to be a spot of role play and call it very selective idiocy or sporadic. I don't know. It's kind of like selective hearing. We've all heard that phrase before, right? And what a fine establishment it is. You really think so? <laughs> That's kind of you. I've been trying to keep the floors clean. You got no idea how long it takes to scrub the tiles. No, I don't. Hmm. Guess I misreckoned you. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to be curt. We just got some problems lately. Me too. I can get you a drink if you'd like. Gotta ask you to enjoy your beverage within the premises, though. Can't risk you bringing a drink over to those deserters. You understand. Deserters? What's this about deserters? Traitors. The lot of them. Bunch of folks decided they were tired of working and went out into the wilds to fend for their own selves. Oh. The town's already struggling to make quotas, even without that band of slackwits abandoning their posts. Okay. Bunch of lazy, shiftless rung leeches. Oh. Anyway, enough about them. Yeah. What can I do for you? Uh, where do I find Reed? Do you now? And what makes you think Mr. Thompson wants to talk to you? He's a busy man. You want to talk to Mr. Thompson, try ignoring your duties. He'll summon you up to that great big tower atop the cannery, and you'll get yourself a proper dressing down. You say that like it's a good thing. It is a good thing. If you're not pulling your weight, you don't deserve to live here. Simple as that. You are too converted. Ah, uh, there was something I wanted to ask you. 
Go ahead. What was that? So what's your story? Because I, 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 the other two... I don't two... see how that's any of your business. All right, yeah, I guess it's not. Will there be anything else? No. Uh, let's see Coming what you got. Right up. I'll have a drink. Your merchant skill is equal to the value of your best dialogue skill and is used to negotiate prices when buying and selling from vendors. Okay. Does it tell you up here where that is? No. You sell dehydrated water because of course you do. Trip teas, associated flavored teas brewed from tripical, tripicale leaves. Caffeine drink, mind after you. Zero G brew made in space. Okay. Each tea bag contains the finest natural and artificial flavors for the perfect cup of tea. Dehydrated water. Just add air. What? Now available in carbonate. What? Tablets. If it's just add air, then as soon as you open... Thinking too hard about this. Hey, wait. No, 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 no. Come back here. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm contractually obligated to recite company slogans to any visitors. Yeah, do it. Plague got you feeling woozy? Get yourself boozy with Spacer's Choice. You sound thrilled. Coming right drink. up. I think I have a tin kind of like that, actually. Oh, wow. They got that texture, like, right on. Okay. Can I sell you things that I shouldn't be able to? Old Z, sell junk. How do I remove from junk? Does it... Oh, wow, it does remove... No, don't sell the music box. Sprat hide. Candid me. Ugh. General. Uh... Can't mark his junk. Okay. Sold junk. All right, I did a transaction. Now what? <laughs> I have engaged in capitalism. Where are you going? Heard something inside the walls today. Yeah? Nothing for us outside those walls. You ought to know that. Hmm. Interesting pants. General store. That sounds like a good place to be. Hello, you have stuff. You have unappetizing stuff. It's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. All and right. before you ask, I'm all out of deluxe salt tuna. All I've got is gourmet. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, I need to fix the ship. You know where I can find parts? You ought to go have a talk with the boss, Reed Thompson. He's up in his tower above the cannery. Okay. Got some questions for you. Go right ahead. What's your take on this place? What, you mean Edgewater? That's a peculiar question. This a test? Am I being tested right now? It's, uh, fine and dandy. Couldn't be happier. Wouldn't want to spend my life working anywhere else. Uh -huh. Prettiest little town on Terra 2. Doesn't sound hard. Telling yourself that won't make it true. You are condescending to me, and I do not care for it. I am... <laughs> Lucky to have my work. Lucky to be alive. I don't get paid for banter. Was there something you needed? Actually, there was. Go right ahead. Anyone I should watch out for? Other than yourself? Ah. Definitely the vicar. Don't get me wrong. He seems a decent man. Cut from church cloth. Knows his scriptures. Okay. But there's something about him that bothers me. Like he's not one of us. Sometimes I suspect he doesn't even want to be here. So about... Uh, thanks. Anyone else? I'd keep a few paces between myself and Miss Holcomb, the town mechanic, since her dear father left the workforce. Left No the ill workforce. intent in her, mind. Just a queer sort, restless, scatterbrained, inclined to do first and think after, if you take my meaning. I don't. 
that everyone I should know about? Amelia. Definitely Amelia Kim. I advise against stepping foot in her drinking establishment altogether. Why is that? Word is, they're gonna replace her with an auto mechanical barkeep. She's, oh. what's the word? Obsolete. Oh. You don't want to associate yourself with that kind of person. That's awful. What about this plague? Plague? I don't know anything about a plague. We are the very picture of hot-blooded physical vigor. Okay. Is there a reason you feel like you have to hide what's going on? You have got the wrong idea about me. I've got nothing that needs hiding. Some of us who get sick are liable to exaggerate the conditions of that sickness, but the fact is, if you work hard, you have got no cause to worry. Mm. What do you mean by that? Survival of the fittest. It ain't just the law of nature. It's company policy. I don't Medical like Medical treatment that, is commensurate with our value to society. Spacer's choice will dispense medicine for the indispensable worker. Natural mm. selection at work. That's not how that works. And if you don't work hard enough? Then the hand of medical science will not grace you with its touch. And you must recover on the virtue of your own grit. Mm. Listen, you mind if we talk about something else? Rambling about company policy gets me feeling all lightheaded. Uh, is Go there right any, ahead. Other, any other paths of conversation down here? No. Okay. Spacer's Choice. The brand of choice for spacers on a budget. Let me see what you're selling. Music to my ears. Yeah. <laughs> me, the Silver Hammer, was built with extra weight or crushing hits to the head and other weak spots, but isn't well banished, isn't well balanced for smooth swings. For some reason, you think this hammer should be silver. I want the me hammer. What else have we got? Big hammer, light assault rifle, machine gun, pistol. What do I have to sell? I don't even know what's in my inventory right now. A whole lot of stuff. A whole lot of ammo. What about armor? Got a chef hat. Not getting rid of that. That's hilarious. Um, I don't think I'm ready to get rid of anything else yet. Keep in the music box. Okay. Uh, guess I don't want anything. Oh. Yeah, all your stuff is locked. We got the cannery over there. Another day at the cannery. Remembering my way around is the tricky part. Cannery, cannery, cannery. I'm sorry, I'll just be a minute. Ah. Hi. Hmm? Hi. Carry on. Hi. Huh? Huh? Move along. Hi. Carry on. Move along. Hey. Hey. All right, that's enough of that. Our place in the universe is fixed. I'm sorry? Work fortifies the spirit. Uh, okay. Talking to the good vicar always lifts up my spirits. Does it really? Work fortifies the spirit. I don't know what that is, but it lets me. Oh, it's Indiana Jones 4. It even has a whip, see? Okay. How about you folks? Hey there, Mary. Don't see you around here too often. Oh, I just came to talk to the vicar is all. None of us are above confessionals. Okay. What have you got to confess? You ain't thinking of deserting, are you? What? No, 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 no. And I resent the accusation. Wasn't nothing but a question. Do excuse me. I must be on my way. Verity to you. Okay. Talking to the good vicar always lifts my spirits. Our place in the universe is fixed. Work fortifies the spirit. Okay. Our place in the universe is fixed. What about you? Our place in the universe is fixed. Talking to the good vicar always lifts up Game. my spirits. Game. 
Work fortifies the spirit. I really just want some more lines. Okay. Well, we're gonna do it this way. Normally I go and get someone else first. Oh no, I can't do it uh, this way. Ha ha ha. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. Well, I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's toss ball predictions, the quickest way out of town. Hmm. How did you know I'm an outsider? Not to put too fine a point on it, but your choice of wardrobe is not precisely common hereabouts. Fair. Also, you lack the distinctive worker gaze. Usually either a deadening behind the eyes, or in some rare cases, a wild-eyed frenzy. Hmm. Like a trapped animal. I'm no animal, and I don't like being insulted by you and your highfalutin language. I merely meant to say that you're not beaten down by... <laughs> you know what? Forget it. You have my sincerest apologies. Huh. That's kind of surprising. He seems to mean it. Which, uh, is not always in his character. Uh, what spiritual advice do you offer here? They who are not satisfied with their work are satisfied with nothing. No. How about, um, work fortifies the spirit. True exhaustion awaits idle hands. Okay. I was actually asking what your religion was all about. The OSI teaches that the Grand Architect set a perfect system in motion at the beginning of time. Okay. Contentment is found by accepting one's role in that grand plan. Huh. How much to put in a good word for me with the Grand Architect, you know, unofficial like. That's not how it works. The Grand Architect has no concern for us beyond setting the plan in motion. I don't get it. Obviously. Oh! Look, if we can figure out how to read the grand plan, we can more perfectly align ourselves to it, bringing everyone peace. Okay. How does that work? Well, first there's the matter of the secret blood rites and animal sacrifices. Awesome! I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Now I'm disappointed. Seriously, though, to truly understand the metaphysics involved takes years of study and contemplation. I'm not capable of that. I would like a power regulator, though. Mechanical tomfoolery is well out of my purview. I suggest you take such matters to Mr. Thompson in the cannery. Okay. Oh, and a word of warning. If you're considering wandering around outside the safety of the town, you'd best be cautious. Why? Why is that? Marauders are about. Though if you are planning on venturing outside, I do have a proposition that may interest you. Yeah. One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. <laughs> However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. So you want My retrieval it. efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. So you want and Should it. you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. To destroy it, right? A handsome sum? What kind of weirdness are you all about here? No. What? Uh, you seem the perfect type to go blindly into the <laughs> wild on a suicidal quest. <laughs> I'm looking for a journal, a handwritten book, with the name M. Bokonu on the cover. Oh, goodness. I'll pay you to find it. Why? I assume you'll want to burn it once you get your hands on it. What? No! I don't want to burn it! I would never... I mean, I just want to... Uh, look, I have a very simple goal here. I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. It wouldn't do for such information to fall into public consumption. Okay. It seems to me the authorities would be interested to hear you're after this text. On the contrary. My position means that I am one of the few legally allowed to possess such items. But do not worry. You'll be safe since you are acting on my behalf. Okay. May... Does anyone else want your book? Maybe I'll sell it to them. <laughs> I can assure you, you won't find another willing to risk imprisonment to possess this book. 
nor anyone willing to pay the price I can offer. I'm willing to believe that. You make a compelling argument. Glad we see eye to eye. Eventually. I'll look for your book. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Okay. I'll be right back, folks. Sorry about that. Okay, so... Any progress on that matter we discussed? It's been five seconds. I haven't found Please your book. Please get it. You seem pretty concerned about that book. Why? A religious text deemed heretical by the OSI as an unsafe object at large. Though I understand why a collector would desire to possess such a rare book. Yeah. Because I'm also a collector of books. Hmm. Rare things in this colony. Appreciation of the written word outside monthly periodicals is virtually unknown here. Hmm. So... Any progress on that matter we discussed? Stop it. Please get it. Well, it's something I wanted to ask you. What would you like to discuss? I didn't have anything I wanted to ask you. Okay. Your desk looks too high. Oh yeah, I would not be comfortable doing that. Oh, no, your chair is just too low. I have spent way too long thinking about ergonomics after setting up my desk at work and at home. Uh, if I remember right, going to get that book doesn't change anything that I want it to. I wanted to, 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 to spoilers. Nah, rah, rah, rah. Okay, fine. I'm trying to be good. I'm bad at it. All right. Uh oh. Okay. Whew. I don't even have an ask you anything button. Don't make me report you to Mr. Thompson. Or what, huh? Huh? I've got my sights on you. Okay. All right. Great, I just checked the trash area. Ugh. I guess we just do this first. Have I already been here? Oh. Okay. Let's do this. Going up! The grease monkey, Argo? Huh? I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. You asked why it's taking so long to fix. The answer's technical. Don't apologize. Just try using small words for me. Hmm. The cans bust open in the oven because she's set to cook saltuna, which isn't what we've got. Mr. Thompson? I think there's someone here to see you. I haven't moved. Focus, Miss Holcomb. You and I are still talking. Okay. Let's Good. start over. Walk me through the process. Show me where it's going awry. Well, sure. It's uh, mostly on account of what we're feeding into the mechanism. It puts food in cans. We have food, we have cans. Why won't it work like we need? She's expecting Seltuna of a certain size. We're filling the cans with... Well, not fish. I'm probably not supposed to hear that. And it's way too easy to just burst into this room and not get let that play out. I say because I've done it more than once. Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. Ass. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. I'll wait till you're finished. You were saying, Miss Holcomb. It's just what best needs is a proper refurbish. I, I, I can bandage her up and what all, but she's just old. Sorry, I, I'm sorry. 
I'll, I'll do better. And I do wish you'd stop referring to our cannery as Bess. Personification of company property is strictly contrary to the Spacer's Choice Code of Conduct. I already... My apologies. I am not in the habit of allowing my guests to witness such a row. Now, what can I do for you? You can shut the hell up. I don't like you already. We can start with introductions. Hi, I'm Mickey. Oh, boy! I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. That's right. I think you may have the wrong idea about me. Yes, so it dawns on me. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Hmm. My ship needs repairs. I'm looking for a power regulator. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. Okay. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Okay. Frying myself. Oh, yes. Saw someone put his hands on a regulator while the power was running. His legs were still twitching when we buried him. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so mostly. all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. You remind me of Conrad Marburg. When you say mostly abandoned, what do you mean? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical mm -hmm. labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Hmm. What a surprise. I never would have guessed. I am not trying to pull one over on you, friend. You were bound to run into them sooner or later. Friend. The people living in the botanical labs. They're deserters. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Why? Hedgewater is struggling. We haven't hit our production quota in years. Mm -hmm. If we don't meet our quotas this year, the company might shut us down for good. I need those workers back at their stations. I've seen Edgewater. I can't blame those workers for walking out. Neither do I. The fault was entirely mine. I pushed them too hard. Huh. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Huh. How will I recognize Adelaide? Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. You're asking me to cut off power to an entire community, Reed. I am asking you to help us survive. Edgewater needs more workers or we will collapse. We belong to one community, the Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. I can't make any promises. Of course, I understand completely. Here, let me give you the passcode to the geothermal plant. A sign of good faith for so politely listening to me as I ramble on. Are you setting off for the Vale? Because I know my way around. I, I mean, in case you want a guide. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. I would love to have Ashley along. Great! I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so... I'm all set. Yeah. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you. And thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Let's get going. You have gained a companion, new manager seminar. 
I'm never going to be over some of this stuff. They are characters that join you in your adventures and help in a variety of ways. Companions provide combat support. Their skills enhance your skills. They increase your carrying capacity. You can unlock special companion skills with companion abilities with the inspiration skill. Learn more about your companions in the companion ledger. Okay. You're safer inside the walls. Yeah, but I just got asked to go out there. Parvati can now join the party. So right now she hasn't? Okay. Got my sights on you. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. That's fair. My offer remains standing should you reconsider. See... I want to talk to you about something. Go ahead. What are my options? If you expect me to talk to this Adelaide person, I could use a little information. Adelaide was our only flavor specialist. Flavor we are a special. Saltuna canning institution. Saltuna without flavor is like a cysty pig without tumors. Borderline what? inedible. <sighs> Don't you eat anything besides Saltuna? Were it up to me, friend, I'd stack our larders with Saltuna galore. No other brand of Saltuna adds as much vim or vigor to the body's humors. But, um. and this is something we must keep between the two of us, Saltuna is hard to come by. What with being a species indigenous to the seas of another world. I was wondering when that would come up. Wow, alien fish with every meal. Talk about living the high life. Every meal? Hold on there, friend. This isn't Byzantium. We eat once a day. In accordance with Spacer's Choice Nourishment Regulations. What? I am not okay with that. Let me ask Go you ahead. something else. We need to have a word about this plague. Can we not? Talking about unpleasant things always gets my bile up. How long has this been happening? That I cannot say. There was no moment when the plagues began. Disease always lurks on the fringes of society, waiting to infect the idle and the lethargic. But in the last ten years, the plagues have become progressively worse and increasingly frequent. Hmm. Yeah, you should have... How... This is what I meant earlier. There's no way a dumb character should be able to say, you should have developed immunity after repeated exposure to a single strain of contagion. Corporate doesn't like us using the word should. It encourages the imagination. Oh I believe plague is a test. It is a test of our loyalty and our fortitude. And it is one we will see through to the end. You withhold medicine from your own workers. If I had enough medicine to treat everyone who fell sick, I would. But I don't. I can't save everyone. So I have to choose. That is monstrous. Yes, it is. And it's necessary. Spacer's choice is a family, and the survival of the family is more important than the survival of the individual. I should go before I punch you. Is that... that is a weird vest, but I can't say I wouldn't wear it. My offer remains standing should you reconsider. I can't guarantee I won't murder the heck out of you for being a jerk. Come on. When did you... Never mind. Hey, mister, can we talk? Sorry. See, now Let's I, talk when you're free. I love how that's scripted. It, it really gives much more of the illusion of, of a sentient being. It's scripted to make you interact with these people like people and not just dispensers of text dot boxes. Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. Oh. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view, 
on matters, on account of it's his job and, and what all, but that's not the only side of the tale. Tell me, Miss Birch. This about the dessert. Uh, yeah, Reed didn't strike me as the most honest soul. Oh, he ain't a liar. He believes every word he says. I bet he does. It's just, he doesn't always get where other folk are talking from. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Hmm. Can't blame anybody for wanting to leave. This town's got issues. Life's hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Yep! Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. Hmm. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. I'm at the vicar. He asked me to find a book for him. Books are for rich folk. <laughs> I wonder what he wants with something like that. Me too. Couldn't hurt. We st we'll stop by. Thanks, mister. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. Hmm. That's what my dad used to say anyways. I don't think I make any decision without doing that. A lot. Spacers. Edgewater Saltuna Cannery, a Spacer's Choice property. Notice, the Edgewater Saltuna Canning Factory strictly adheres to Spacer's Choice standards of health and safety. Notice, schedule your sick leave with your Spacer's Choice foreman and or supervisor. Be considerate towards other members of the Spacer's Choice family. Allow two to four weeks to process and approve your scheduled sick leave. Lost hours must be compensated to the company. See Reed if you're having trouble paying for your sick leave. We'll try to arrange wage deductions instead. Remember, work invigorates the spirit. Sickness in the body reflects sickness in the mind and sickness in the character. If you find yourself falling ill, it may be time to schedule a meeting with our local vicar. Not a peep for me. Cool. Glad we already had this talk about rampant thievery. Uh, I guess it's time to talk to people in the cannery. Hey. Huh? Hey. I don't have... Hmm? Fine. Never mind. Hmm. Okay. Only you! Can protect fourth quarter profits. Oh my gosh. Lost and found. Found one left hand, severed at the wrist, some bone damage. People, this is our second unscheduled amputation in as many months. Please exercise caution and safety around machinery. Maintenance fees will be deducted from your pay. Ugh. Vending machine. Vending machines offer a wide variety of items to purchase, mostly from one company. A hack skill of 20 or higher allows you to sell items to the vending machine. Restricted items on a vendor can only be purchased when you have a high enough reputation with the associated faction, or a hack skill of 40 or higher. Okay. Dorino. Fish sticks. As always, the first ingredient is saltuna. Some filler added. Okay. It tastes fresh because it was. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mock apple. Real mock apple. Real mock taste. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> now available in brown. Cripes. Mashed spectrum potatoes? Although the Borst Loaf Dinner is a close number two in all respects, and it makes you have a close number two. No. Sorry, moving on. Made with real atmospheric contaminants from Tartarus. Oh my gosh. I... 
See, this is what I don't understand. We have five-hour energy now. How does how do we go back in time in the year 2050, whatever? 3050. Life is rough. You need skin tough. Okay. You know what? I'm. Okay. A mag pick, okay? I still crouch out of habit. Uh... Eh, I guess. I'm gonna stay on this floor for now. You could have told me that's what that was. Loose lips, pink slips. Huh? Oh my goodness. Okay. Staying on this floor is the current theme of the day. So. Bones and gears don't mix. Worker injuries affect our bottom line. Use caution when operating heavy machinery. I should really be a little more observant when I'm doing this. So what do I do with that? Do I go put it on read? That sounds like a great choice. I used to really like 3D platformers. That was a lot of work for some nonsense. Okay. Uh, we're going down first. Okay, no, we're going back and going up, because that is into the belly of the beast. Also, how do I get there? I don't. Okay. It's not the best choice. I know. to Mechanical Engineering, Volume 2. Osball card, Glenn Latier. Latier has been the starting forward on the Astros for five winning seasons and a revolver. Beautiful. Okay. Criminal activities, trespassing, lockpicking, hacking, and or murder are all considered illegal activities and are frowned upon by society. Which means, if you're rich enough, do it. Avoid being seen if you want to engage in those activities without consequences. So spend lockpicks, get XP. That's an alright exchange. All right, terminal access, company notifications. From the office of Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. 
Symptoms of infection have now reached a critical mass. I've instructed our staff to transform the old domicile into a sick house. Plague is a reality of life on the frontier. And as spacers, we are expected to face up to reality. And the reality is that we do not carry enough medicine to treat all of you. Medical treatment is a privilege, not a right. We must strive every day to demonstrate our worthiness of that privilege. If you find yourself suffering the symptoms of incipient plague, the best thing you can do for yourself and your family is to don your jumpers and come to work. Work fortifies the spirit. Physical illness recapitulates spiritual weakness. Read. Half these people don't know what you just said. Really, our character doesn't know what you just said either, but, uh... Who's counting? We'll come back to you. You're some sort of freelancer? Yeah! Uh, Saltuna. Totally not what we've been putting in the machines lately, huh? Nope. I was gonna say no Parvati's allowed, but... But you make your own rules, don't you? Hello. Terminal access. Foreman. Phyllis Granger. Messages! Welcome, Phyllis Granger. From Reed Thompson. Phyllis. Owing to your hard work and positive aptitude, I have sanctioned your access to medical treatment in the event of contagion. As you know, the company has not provided us with enough medicine to treat every worker. I wish I could treat every member of the Spaces Choice family who fell ill to this plague, but I cannot. Medical privileges are strictly merit-based. Please, do not, under any circumstance, distribute your ration of medication to any other worker. We're all in this together. Personal files. Password required. Okay. Uh. How far away are we from that? X XP? Oh, there it is up in the upper left. Uh, three quarters? Okay. We'll talk to Phyllis in the next episode. Till then, folks.